Serve some cunt. Serve some cunt, baby. I'm gonna be starting off the vlog with making some breakfast. Um, it is 8.56, so it is not a 5 a.m. morning routine. You won't catch that here. Just a little disclaimer. I'm gonna be making a breakfast sandwich. These English muffins are the best you can get at the store. I get them at Target, and they're bomb. So, I'm just gonna put avocado, one egg, I'll probably do two slices of this cheese just because it's really thin and I like cheese. And then one piece of turkey bacon. This is so good, you guys. Please try it. You won't be disappointed. I'm excited to vlog and hang out with you guys today. So please like this video if you also love daily vlogs and want to see more of these because I can do them now that I feel settled in here at least for the most part i know it's probably felt like we've been a little distant so let's reconnect let's fix that because i miss you guys and i miss doing these videos i feel like it's been so fun doing youtube over the years because i can just see all the different stages and eras that i've been through and it's just so fun to look back on and this is a new era so i want to document this one as well okay so i just got out of the shower um i usually don't shower in the mornings because i usually go to the gym around this time but since i'm not going to the gym till later i decided to shower just to feel fresh and clean for the day and i just love washing my face in the shower i hate washing it in the sink it is just such a mess and I don't know it just annoys me so if i can avoid it i will but as soon as i get out of the shower the first thing i do is lather my body in uh, body butter or any type of really hydrating lotion because my skin is so dry but this has been my current favorite body butter it's called the pistache i don't know if i'm saying that right skincare it is um a pistachio oil body butter just recently ordered it on amazon and i'm obsessed i didn't even realize i liked pistachio scents until recently because everyone was talking about that kaoli pistachio perfume and then i smelled it and i was like that actually smells so good i didn't know what pistachio smelled like in like a fragrance but now that i know i'm addicted so it's just this really thick hydrating body butter with pistachio oil in it it smells like almost like cake batter to me though it smells really sweet if you don't like pistachio scents you don't like this but i really have been enjoying it and once it's on your skin it's a really subtle scent but highly recommend if you like pistachio scents to get this body butter that's really hydrating but anyway let's move on to skincare um, i'm going to start with this toner, the soothing toner. Got this on Amazon. I'm sure if you're on TikTok, you've seen this. It's like Korean skincare. I just like pat it into my face. Just to make sure that the skin is damp because your skin absorbs the other products way better once your skin is damp. So I just try and like press it in and then I bring it down my neck and a little bit on my chest. At nighttime, I'll do like a couple toners, but I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do that today. Um, usually, I would use the Laneige Cream Skin as well after that one, um, but this time I'm just gonna go in with the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting Fluid. This is the Mandelic Acid and Lactic Acid. It's their new one. It says improves sun damage, dullness, and fine lines, reverses the compromised skin barrier. Gentle and effective for all skin types and tones. It's an exfoliator. And I am not a skincare expert, so this is maybe done in the wrong order, or you know, maybe I shouldn't be using these products together. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Just like I do with the toner, just kind of press it into the skin. So now I'm just gonna moisturize. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I forgot how much I love this stuff until I recently placed an order on Black Friday and now I'm obsessed again. It was like a deal buy one get one I think so yeah that's why I justified ordering it because I really love the way that this makes my skin feel. This lining is really not forgiving so I should have brought a ring light in here. 
for you guys to see better, but you guys get the point. And then I'm gonna use this eye cream, the Caudalie Vino Perfect Brightening Eye Cream. Just do like two little dots and then gently rub that in. And now I'm just gonna put on the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is the vanilla scent, I believe. Yes, the vanilla scent. So this one is so good. I love using this in the morning. And then the last step is just sunscreen. I'm going to be using this Bliss Blockstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen with SPF 30. This is a mineral sunscreen and it's also tinted, which I really like. I also ordered this on Amazon and I love it. See the color here? It's like a, it's a skin tone color. This slightly evens out my skin tone. It kind of gives it more of like a blurred look. Which I, which I like. I'm just going to let this kind of set into my skin before I apply any makeup. Just because I don't want it to pill or break apart. When you're putting on makeup and then like this products before bottle up underneath. It's not cute. But it's usually because you didn't let the product sit on your face long enough. So I'll give you guys an outfit of the day. Even though I just kind of look like a bum. But this is how I always dress. Like if you see me out, I'm looking like a boy. So... That's just how I feel comfortable when I go out. When I'm running errands, I just want to be comfy. So I have this Alpha Elite sports bra, this zip up from Amazon, and then just Lulu leggings, and then these New Balances that Abby got me for Christmas, or Jake got them for me actually. It took me a while to come around to the New Balances because they were giving geriatric for the longest time to me, but now I think they're super cute. Sometimes it just takes me a minute and Abby usually has to convince me to come around to certain trends, but Igor hates them. He thinks they're the most hideous shoes in the world, so I'm wearing them when I'm not with him. Anyway, let's go to the mall. It is, what time is it now? 12.30. We really were stalling today. We're moving slow. I know you guys saw that Lana Del Rey was the model for the Valentine's Day Skims collection, which, by the way, I'm pretty disappointed in. Uh, me and Abby and Laura were talking about it, and we're all a little bummed that it's not as fire as it was last year. And um, Laura's man said it looked like it came from Target, and I can't unsee that now. I feel like it does look like a Target collection. But I loved that Lana Del Rey was the model. I've been obsessed with her music again. I mean, she is just so iconic. One of the most beautiful women inside and out. And her music just is so timeless. And I can't stop listening to her again. It's like my comfort music. I know that song speaks to every single woman out there. So relatable, so real. And the older we get, the more scared we are that we won't be loved when we're not young and beautiful. <sighs> but don't worry, baby, we're still young. We still got it. See, I'm obsessed with these right now. And the one that I got broke, so I'm trying to find a black one. Let's see, this one's nice too. I like this cream color actually a lot. It's gonna be pretty on my entry table. I love this one too. This one's really cute. I like that. That's cute. been wanting something like this like the with the book ends I've also been really wanting this book so I think I'm gonna get this one $24.99 yep I'm getting her and I really I love this book end I've been in here for like 30 minutes already and I haven't even gotten throughout the store because I'm taking my time and looking at everything so so far found these and I've been wanting this style glass wine glass for so long but I didn't want to buy a pack of four so it's nice that I could just buy two of them hey babes I'm back from the mall I am going to show you guys what I got but before we do that I need a snack I'm so hungry I haven't eaten since that breakfast sandwich which is not good so it's time for a snack and I'm gonna show you guys my recent favorite snack it's healthy, it's high protein, nutritious, and delicious. I just use the Good Culture cottage cheese, and then I use organic raspberries and blueberries. Then I put honey on top. You guys don't knock it till you try it. 
it's delicious okay i'm gonna try and do this really quickly before the sun completely goes down i actually don't have a ring light here and it's getting dark so i'm gonna just not explain too much but um the first thing that i got was really excited about it. i know abby's gonna be jealous about these because we've been looking for these kind of wine glasses everywhere and it's just like this unique shape i mean they're not anything too special that's why i only got two of them i didn't want to order like a four pack of them which i've seen online because i already have so many wine glasses and i already feel like that was kind of dumb of me like not necessary but i'm gonna put them on my bar card i have like an empty space for glassware so that's why i justified it so it's kind of like a decor and and for use and those were $7.99 each and then the next thing i got is this bookend it's like a marble heavy duty bookend and this was $16.99 then i picked up two coffee table books i got the kinfolk home which abby has this one and i love it it's very simple and this one was $19.99 so that was a pretty good deal i feel like and then I also got this one, which is The Art of Living with White. I'm actually excited to look through this book as well. It's uh, from The White Company. I do believe that both of these are on Amazon as well. So I'll link them below if I find them on Amazon. But this one was $24.99 if I didn't say that yet. And then I really lucked out with the jars, like the rustic looking jars that are, you know, kind of being trendy right now. This one was $19.99. And it's just this white, like off-white color, ceramic, and it's very light. Like, I thought it was going to be heavy, but this is super light. And I'm definitely going to put this on one of the shelves, like, with maybe like this underneath it or something. I don't want to drop it, but you guys get the point. And then I got two more of those, which I couldn't decide between the white or the black. So, what do you do? You get both. Um, they are a little bit damaged. That's the only thing that sucks about home goods. I feel like a lot of their stuff gets damaged because people just like throw things around there and it's not like in any like packaging. Everything's just out on display. So things get, you know, tossed around, but I love this one. It's like a very distressed looking black one. And these ones were really inexpensive. They were $12.99. So that's why I was like, I can get both. You know, and if anything, I can just return one of them if I can't find a spot for it. But I figured you got to be safe rather than sorry, especially when it comes to home goods, because you'll go back for something even the next day and it's gone and you'll never see it again and you'll never stop thinking about it. So I've learned my lesson a few times with that. Okay, and then I went to Bath and Body Works because I needed new hand soaps. So I got two of these, a sweet orange and agave. This one I think is a newer scent and it smells so good. And I got two Fiji white sands, which I loved this packaging, of course. It's very sleek and bougie looking, which I love. And then I also got wallflowers because Laura got me one of those wall plugins, I think for my birthday. And so I've been obsessed. First one is Comfort Vanilla and Patchouli. She said this one is um, being discontinued, so it was on clearance. So I didn't even get to smell that because I didn't have a tester, but it sounded good. The next one is Wild Rose and Suede. I have Book Loft, which is also a new one. So this one is a warm and woody fragrance. The other one is warm and comforting. And then the Wild Rose and Suede is also warm and woodsy. Then I got two of the Mahogany Coconut, which is also warm and woodsy. You can't tell. It's clearly my favorite type of scent. And then bergamot and birch, which is also warm and woodsy. So my house is going to be smelling so good. I put these downstairs actually like in the entryway. So that way when you walk in, it smells really good. And it's like where all of our shoes are. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes that area can get musty with all the shoes, especially with the rain. But if you don't live in Washington, you probably can't relate to that okay the last place is victoria's secret they had so many cute underwear for valentine's day this is the best time to go get new underwear especially after the new year abby and i always like to throw out our old underwear and just replace it with new fresh ones the first pair is this bright pink it's like a bright baby pink lacy thong and it has like a double string on the side 
these are super stretchy so i get a size small in most of them but if it's one of these pairs where it's like tighter and not as forgiving i'll get a medium so i got this pair which is so cute too it has little hearts on it which you probably won't be able to see and then it also has these little red roses on it so i thought that was really girly and cute then I got just this white thong and it also has these little cutout hearts on it. I don't know if you guys can see those, but I thought that was so cute. And then same with this thong. This also has a little cutout hearts on it. It's just a black pair though. You can kind of see it better, I feel like. Then I got this pair, so stinking cute. And I also had to get that same one in a different style. This is, what style is this? I actually have never gotten this style before, but I wanted to give it a try. I don't know. I think it was just the cheeky style, but so cute. I'm obsessed. And then just a black seamless pair because I wear these all the time when I work out. And this is like a V cut. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see. It's like a V and then just says pink in this nude color on the side and these are so comfy and stretchy i like wearing them with dresses or with leggings where you don't want to see underwear lines like your best bet is to wear seamless underwear i am not one to ever go commando i really wish i could but i just can't it's not it's not for me then the last pair is this really cute lacy baby blue pair with hearts on it and it also has like a double string on the side i haven't bought underwear from victoria's secret in i feel like a long time like at least a couple of years but abby told me they had really cute ones right now so i went ahead and looked and she was right she's always right so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this haul sorry if i was talking too fast i was just trying to get it you know done with before it gets dark which the sun is about to set i'm just gonna wait for igor to get home and we're gonna go to the gym tonight on a friday night we're we're really trying to be better about keeping each other accountable and reaching our fitness goals this year so i'm gonna make us dinner which i'm thinking about doing like a pasta with lean ground beef something like that i don't know i'll have to ask him because it's friday night and usually we'd be going out or on a date night so i'm like we might as well just have a little pasta i'm just gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away and then i'll check in with you guys in a minute okay i just finished dinner um igor should be home any minute now i just made pasta with ground beef and it looks disgusting this looks like dog food or cat food or something but i promise it's good and if you've had this pasta from trader joe's then you already know how good it is let me show you guys the packaging so this is the pasta that I used. It's so good. And obviously very easy. I just throw it in the microwave. Follow the microwaving instructions. And the noodles did come out a little bit harder than I would like. But I think Igor likes his noodles al dente. So it should be fine. Um, but I'm going to dig in because I'm starving. I'm not waiting for him. He told me he was on the way home like 30 minutes ago. So he lied typical male behavior but i'm gonna go ahead and just probably eat without him and then hopefully um igor is down to go to the gym and if not it's okay we'll just have a chill night in all i know is i don't want to go out anywhere or see anyone <laughs> i just want to hibernate inside the rest of the night so unless of course we go to the gym but i'll keep you all posted <laughs> Tell them all. put me on the spot like that well i'm asking you to repeat what you said you said the noodles are el dente. <laughs> and he likes the consistency. And, and They're so cute. The little hearts and the roses. You think it's grandma-ish? Yes. I had a feeling my grandmother would absolutely wear these. Okay, well, me and Granny will be friends. When you try on panties at the store, do they... Oh, I don't try them on at the okay. store. All right. No. Do other girls try them on at the store? I don't know. I, I really don't know, and that's disgusting. But I always wash them <laughs> first anyway. Um... But I've tried them on like over my leggings before just to make sure that they fit. They look like a unicorn. <laughs> I'm so rude. Because of this big zit, which I am absolutely popping. The fact that my makeup just like came off around it. That's crazy. Oh, it's a big one. What do you want to name her? Gertrude. 
I like Sally. <laughs> you like Gertie? <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, you guys do not care about my zit. Anyway, we're gonna just Tonight. not go to the gym. <laughs> I kind of want to just take an edible and watch some true crime. We've been obsessed. Uh, we just we've watched, watched every single true crime, crime, <laughs> true crime <laughs> show on television. We Hulu, have. Netflix. Not Amazon every, Prime. I think we still have some more. So don't worry, I'll find I'll find one. I'm jealous of your tan. I can put a fake tan on you tonight since we're not going to the gym. How about that? So I can think of the bed. I just changed the sheets, but that's okay. <laughs> or at least like your upper body, I don't know. Anyway, right. that's gonna wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really don't know how it turned out, but I hope that it was something that you guys somewhat enjoyed. XOXO. Oh, you blew that really far. How many women are you trying to reach with that kiss? That was All very... All of them. Was... Oh.